Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. It's time to talk UNC Pembroke men's soccer with head coach John Milleracy. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. You took over the head coaching position in February, becoming the eighth head coach in program history. For our fans who haven't met you yet, tell us a little bit about your background and your road to UNC Pembroke. Sure. Uh, from Charleston, South Carolina originally. Uh, played collegiately at Georgia Southern and was an assistant at Georgia Southern, was a grad assistant there, then uh, associate head coach at Gardner-Webb, then a head coach at Covenant College, head coach at John Brown, head coach at King University, uh, and now here at UNCP. In some ways, it's a quick turnaround from February to now in terms of getting ready for a new season. What are some of those challenges and what have you been doing for the last six months? I'm doing a lot. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of challenge anytime you take over a program. Fortunately, this isn't my first time doing this. Um, you know, I think the real challenge is even though I was hired in February, I really didn't get here until uh, I think the first week of March. Uh, so the good thing is I was able to get a spring practice in with the group. Uh, and frankly, we had a tremendous uh, spring season. Went undefeated, uh, beat the national champions. I mean, it couldn't have gone any better for us um, in a lot of ways. Uh, but also with the transition, it's very difficult to then recruit and bring in a, a class when you, when you start recruiting in March. So we had to scramble a little bit. Uh, there was some turnover, of course, but I think uh, the main challenge uh, really for us beyond results is establishing a culture. I think we started to do that in the spring, and I think we really have to, have to make a stamp uh, on that culture this fall. Looking at where this team was last year, the Braves went 5-8-2 and two, and 1-6-2 and two in the Peach Belt, staying in the hunt for the conference tournament until the very end. What kind of momentum from returning guys do you see heading into this year? You know, in terms of, uh, of momentum, I think really we're going to refer to the momentum in the spring. I think uh, when you look at a year ago, new coaching staff, a lot of different players, um, uh, we can refer to some things in the fall, not that it was all bad, uh, but I think definitely the spring is what we're looking to really drive us forward and give us momentum going into this season. The Braves return a handful of players from last year's team, mostly freshmen from a year ago, so you'll have a fairly young team. What are some pluses and minuses to that? Well, the good thing about a younger team is uh, there's a little more spry and energy to them. You know, that's, that's a good thing. Uh, the, the one challenge we're going to have is we're going to be very inexperienced. Uh, I think we're going to rely very heavily on that sophomore class to really lay the foundation for the future for us. I think these new players, we need to give them responsibility, but it has to be limited. We have to really rely on the returning players. Um, but, you know, as you mentioned earlier, we do have some challenges. We have some guys that are out, um, some guys that lost year of eligibility. Um, so it's not, uh, everything's not perfect, but I definitely think we have the potential to be uh, a contender in the Peach Belt this year. You'll have a large crop of newcomers joining the stable of returners. Who are some new faces who could step in and make an immediate impact? Well, there's several, um, and we're still trying to figure that out. I and mean, we've only been in practice for about three days at this point. Um, some guys are really starting to step up and stand out. Um, you know, we brought in Ruben Tax to come in as a transfer, as a grad student, to bring some experience, to bring uh, a level of play from a different part of the world that would hopefully impact our standard of play. Uh, we have some good young players that have come in as well. Marco Garcia has come in and done quite well. Um, there's several others that have, that have uh, stood out, but I think uh, right off the bat, I think Ruben's definitely going to help. Um, and I think there's some other young ones that, that we're waiting to see, but as, uh, you never know with freshmen. You, know, you can see them. Uh, play the game of their life in the spring in their high school or their club and then in the fall it's just so many new things it just takes time so uh, been pleased with what I've seen so far. The Braves play seven games at home this year including three against Peach Belt Conference foes. You also play most of those home games in September. What are one or two games that you're looking forward to especially with regards to the home schedule? You know, in terms of which teams I don't think we really have any teams highlighted on the schedule. I think one of the goals that we have is that we want to be fun to watch. We want to encourage the student body to come out and watch us play, not just because of the soccer, but because of who we are, how we hold, the standards we hold ourselves to. We want to be something that, that instills a little bit of pride and um, school spirit uh, at UNCP. And I think that's really our goal more than any beating, beating any particular team. I think we want to create a home field advantage. We want to be attractive uh, something attractive to come to on a Wednesday evening or Friday evening or Saturday evening when we play. Um, so I think more than anything else, we're really trying to make uh, our home ground um, a true advantage, a true home field by hoping to, to spur some fan support with our play and who we are. Coach, anything else you'd like to add? No, I'm glad to be here. I think uh, we're, we're phase one of a, 
of a big project, but I th I'm very thankful to be here. I think um, coaches before me, Phil, Coach Schaefer from years back, they've laid a foundation for success for future coaches here, and I hope to live up to those expectations. But I'm definitely glad to be here. I think we can build something special, but it will definitely take time. Coach John Miller-Racy, thanks for joining us. We'll be back right after this with a preview of UNC Pembroke Cross Country.